I don't know if I'll add this or not. Hopefully it comes out. But this is the lamp I found yesterday on Facebook Marketplace. Is it not the most gorgeous? And look at the inside, sorry, of the lampshade. It's blue. So I wanted to share that. Hey guys, it's Kim. And I kind of have stuff put beside me. I didn't organize it. I just realized, oh well. <laughs> Pooped. Let's see. Did I get in my 10,000 steps? Almost. Oh my gosh. 8,536 steps, mostly at work. I did a lot of walking. Walking with the kids. Okay, but I wanted to share. Margaret made me a couple of these. She was inspired by all my Dollar Tree. I'm into Dollar Tree, as you know. So she was wanting to make me things from Dollar Tree. Remember, she made me the tiered tray. So she made me two of those. And look at this. This is not Dollar Tree. But I think the flowers are from Dollar Tree. So these are photos. We had a family photos um, taken a few years ago. And she was the photographer. So that's my dad. That's me. That's my oldest sister. And then the middle sister. And I'm the baby. But look at this. Doesn't she do a nice job? And then she put a battery pack or a light thing on lights inside. Isn't that gorgeous? So blessed. So, yeah. She is a good friend, that's for sure. Okay. I am really not ready. I'm so sorry. I thought I was, but I guess not. Okay. Anyway. So we did get in a diamond dies had on HSN embossing folders. So I ordered them. It was a set. It was like $19.99, you got 10. So I was playing with them yesterday and I might do some kind of a tutorial that you that you don't know how to use embossing folders because anybody can put something through a piece of paper. But I had some fun just kind of playing with some of them. Let's see, where's my wood one? So I liked this one because it's not just wood, it's planks of wood. So I did it on craft and then I took um, brown distress socks. I could be any brown and just made the lines, you know, and the embossed part pop out. So it makes it look really like wood. Oh, I liked it. Let's see, I got, this one has also a rose, and I don't think, I was going to um, go over it with some white. I did this one, and again, I haven't done anything, not that you have to do something to each one, but I'm having fun kind of altering, sorry, them. So this one... I might do how I did. So this one, I just used my Distress Oxides again with a Q-tip for each color. Isn't that pretty? I tried running it through with the ink and it just kind of came out. I wasn't happy with it. So I went ahead and did it this way. I just, oh, so much fun. And it's got more in there. But the other one, I thought I might do some kind of Maybe tonight, maybe in three weeks. I don't know. Don't <laughs> let's see. I don't know where it is, but this is what it comes out like. So I did this one, and I just think that's so pretty. And what I did was the water pen, and I got these water pens. This one I kind of screwed up. There's a story, of course. Anyway, Aqua Mark, or yeah, these water brushes that you fill at Dollar Tree. And went into my distress, distress Oxides and then also came in with just a brush and just didn't just water it on, kind of gave it a little bit of dark and light and then blended everything. And so, yeah, this reminds me of, I have upstairs, I had a lot of um, old... Um, Postcards for my grandmother. I don't have them anymore. But anyway, they did a lot of this, this embossing. So they were ahead of the game, right, back then. <laughs> this has been around a long time. So just gorgeous. So I might do something where it's just kind of a craft with me. And then I've been making a bunch of these. I was doing them for teacher week. It didn't end up happening. But anyway, so these being these um, tablets. 
and just altering the front. And these are stickers from um, those sticker books from um, Michaels. And then the paper line, and these are more stickers, the paper line is actually that I've been using for this go around is sweet and sassy. And it has some really fun, cute little that I cut apart. So I'm probably gonna do something with this too, a craft with me on that. So, because I keep going, man, I can't have time, you know, I gotta do stuff. I did get these in the mail, Emma confiscated. Mother's Day was good. It was kind of quiet because we're doing ours next weekend. But anyway, Emma came for a couple hours yesterday and she saw these. And so, little honey. I got this from um, AliExpress. I don't, but I'm thinking, how do you. I wanted to paint it black and yellow to go up on my B tray, but I got to think about it because, you know, look at these grooves. So, I'm thinking maybe I should spray paint it. This little thing could take a while. <laughs> it's a challenge. Okay, of course, I've been to Dollar Tree. Let me get this up here so I can. And I meant to also try out. I don't want to knock over Mark stuff. Um, I saw the shoe eraser, and I've seen them there. But then I also saw these on, like, Amazon or something. They weren't cheap. So I'm wanting to clean up some of my tennis shoes because they get a lot of wear and tear. And it's to clean the, I think I'm thinking all it is is the magic erasers, right? The white sponge. Yeah, I think so. Just in a cute little, right? With this rough stuff sponge. So I'll let you know how that works. To use shoe eraser to clean your shoes and midsoles. Remove dirt and grime. Use gently and add plenty of water. Yeah, see. Orange sides rub midsoles to remove dirt and grime. What are midsoles? What's a midsole? White side gently buff and scuff out marks and stains. Okay. And you're supposed to wash your hands after use. That was a lot of time spent on that silly thing. Okay. I thought I would try these. I probably already have some. But for crafting, of course. Pointed tip shears. And they're the spring action. I don't really have to do much gardening because the landlady and her son do it. So but I thought, you know, let me just cut something here and see. So there's that spring action. Yeah, see, I think they like the Fiskers that we're all paying for, but I already have a pair. Anyway, there we go. Nice point on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Margaret also got me, and I couldn't believe it. I go, you, I can't believe it. I don't have these. Isn't this cute? These are going to my trailer. She's like, you're kidding. I got you something you don't own. I go, yep, you did. I think there's more in here. Jody's Craft Room was talking about painting and altering these. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So there are four dice already, obviously, and sponge, and you could paint them or... I probably will take one set to school. Kids get the biggest kick out of bigger size stuff, you know? Celebrating birthdays and Mother's Day next weekend, so I thought this was perfect. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Somebody was showing these, and I thought, well, that's cool. If I'm going to put these out of the trailer, you know it. I'm getting excited. It's getting to be that season. I have it all cleaned up for my kids. I'm a glue thing. I don't know. So I got the craft glue. I think I already have some of that. You know me. Heat and repeat. Okay. I They have different ones of these. I've seen people show. This is the only one I found at my Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? pretty? Reminds me of that paper pack I have from Michaels. And then I decided to get these. Probably to go on those. I thought they'd be cute on those summer-like tablets that I was just showing you that I'm altering. But more of these, because I have used some of them. I mean, those are so pretty. That'd be like at least $2.99 at a regular store. Just saying. And... Oh, it's already on my phone. 
screensaver. A dollar. Give me a break. I thought this was cute. Things I can't say during a video call. Yeah. I should say things I want to say but can't during a video call. So it's just a little book. I've been in three meetings today, plus teaching. It's like, oh my god. And I got this for two of my students. I, if they still have them, I might go get more. Because it's easier for their little hands. You know, your muscles don't develop in your hands. for It takes a while. So the bigger pencils. And these are the big ty Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga pencils, which are supposed to be so good. Premium wood, perfect for beginner pencil. Oops. Like, I can't, I don't know, I just can't get over all the cool stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. I know, I've been there forever, but I still can't get over it. I've been collecting their fabric paints, because we've been, you know, you can add these. So for like Christmas, these would be, this color would be good. I have a yellow and a black as well that I don't think I shared, but you know what the fabric paint is. I mean, really, seriously, I gotta quit. I just love these and the butterflies. Sorry, but those are just too cute. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, I couldn't remember if I had these, so I got them. And I don't believe I have these, so I got them. Those are gorgeous. I put a bunch of stuff in this bag, and I'm thinking I might be doing a peat and repeat thing here. Some of this I bought, some of it I stuffed in here. Anyway, yeah, we'll see. There's the recollections. I was showing Margaret had the big, remember the ATG gun? I have one, I just don't tend to, it's just so big. For since I've discovered the tear tape and at this price, yeah, that's, and she was watching it, she goes, oh, that's good, that's cool, I like it. So, rub on transfers, I've used these. Yes, the K looks like an H. <laughs> Somebody pointed out on my B kind, it looks like B hind. <laughs> anyway, but it's a nice font and it's a good size. You get your different choices. You get the big A, little A, so on. So then I have been watching a lot of people doing the hidden, I'm sure it's not a new thing, but I just caught on to it now. Hidden paper clips. We have lots of paper clips, but hey, it was on my mind, so I bought them. It was there. Scrapbooking with me, I think this um, site is called YouTube channel. Oh, so good. Okay. This, okay, my son called, which ended the last video. I'm going to try to marry all these up. <laughs> Doesn't usually go well. And thank you. Nobody complained about my goofy video last time where it was all in there. Oh my gosh, you guys are wonderful. Because... I handheld it, and I guess I handheld it wrong. Held, handheld, whatever. Anywho, I was going to tell you a quick story. It's very important I come back on and tell you about my, um, what are these, water pens. Water brush pen. Dollar Tree. So I'm like, oh, this is great, you know, because I do use these. So, but I'm like, I can't get it apart. I can't get it apart. Okay, here's the deal. You twist it away from you. I'm prying away. I even pulled the brush part. I thought maybe that's the part that comes up. No. And then wind it back in towards you. I guess I could have done it this way. But I, for some reason, I had it in my head. I had to do it the opposite way. And I thought for sure they were no good. They're good. So there you go. That is why I had to come back on here. Oh, and then... About playing cards, because I've also been watching, I'll try to remember to um, list below Scrapbooking With Me, I think it is, in Jody's Craft Room, another good YouTuber. And um, anyway, Scrapbooking With Me, I believe, is her site, or YouTube channel, and she was altering playing cards. It's like, oh, that looks like fun. So I bought some of those. Hers were, I think, older, but... They didn't once she was done. Oh, and then one of my favorite Etsy shops is only One Life Creations. And they had, you had to pre-order the Tim Holtz new color. And I got everything because I thought, you know what? 
I ended up buying it piece by piece and they had, these were 35 and then you had to pay shipping. But his new color is patina. So I got the Distress ink. It came with the paint. And they had great and fast shipping there local to me here in Washington. The Oxide, <clears throat> excuse me. We gotta go watch his video again to find out why it was that I needed all those embossing glazes. He does such great stuff and you're like, oh, I gotta have that, I gotta do that. And then they get, get it all and you're like, I don't remember what he did. But that's the beauty, we can watch it. And the spray stain, so I am patina Tim Holtz ready. Oh, so you get the Distress Stain and the Oxide Ooh, spray. So one's a stain, one's a spray. Okay, what else came in this? So for 35 bucks, I feel like I really got the ink, alcohol inks, which I'm wanting to do some of that metal stuff again, because I'll have time this summer. And Salvage Patina Distress Oxide, I guess is the reinker for those. So, only One Life Creations. Great deals. You did have to pre-order to get that price. But it's not like I'm going to use it right away anyway. So that's okay. All right, guys. Oh, and I got another one of these. And I love this. When I show you how I do my altering of the tablets, I use this on the top part where it comes together, the hinge. So these are great. This, you know, you get what you pay. It's pretty flimsy, but I really like the bone folder part. So if I have a lot of them, that means I'll be able to find one, right? Okay, take care, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.